others in the north have said they are concerned over President Muhammadu Buhari's continuous silence to growing calls in many quarters that he rejects the security architecture in view of the worsening insecurity in the country. They said the, solution, the resolutions of the two arms of the National Assembly, they said the resolutions of the two arms of the National Assembly that he acts swiftly in placing new security system to stop the increasing bad situation was enough for him to act given that they are the representatives of the people. The Northern Elders operating under the ages of Coalition of Concerned Northern Elders for Peace and Development in a statement in Abuja, Monday morning said, the worsening security situation in the country has caused untold hardship on women and children in both the Northeast and the Northwest. Besides the group in a statement signed by its national chairman, Dr. Mohamed Suleiman and national secretary, Hajia Mairu Boni said the insecurity in the country had reached a boiling point that only the sack of service chiefs as first step in addressing the ugly development could be acceptable by Nigerians. According to the group, the 2021 budget proposal that was last Thursday presented to the National Assembly by the President could be difficult to fund if the president fails to address the situation immediately. We are compelled by the current state of the nation, especially as it affects the security of lives and property in Nigeria, particularly in the north, to issue this press statement. This coalition became very necessary and urgent to lend our voice to the growing insecurity and called for the sack of the current service chiefs and total overhaul of the security architecture of our country before it is too late. We are worried about President Muhammad Buhari's silence, despite call by every arm of Nigeria, including the National Assembly, who are the representatives of the people, it said in the statement. According to the Northern Elders in the statement, some international organizations and authorities have faulted our security architecture and called for the need to restructure same. Yet Mr. President is still not moved. Is he waiting for all Nigerians to die first? In a constitutional democracy, the people are the employer of the president, and for a president to write his name on gold, he must listen to the people, the statement added. We in this group insist that President Buhari is a good man. That, mean, that means very well for Nigeria and Nigerians. But we strongly believe that he is being misled on a daily basis in the happenings of the security the statement further said. It stressed that no Nigerian sleeps with his eyes closed anymore. Our roads and homes are no longer safe because of robbery, kidnapping, banditry, and the, the BH guys. Food security is being threatened in the Northwest because of bandits who have been displaying, sorry, who have been dis depriving farmers of going to their farms. It noted, regretting that the deteriorating plight of women and children in Northeast is on steady increase. It reads further, apart from Maiduguri town, there is no community in Borno State where our people can sleep with their eyes closed. Malnutrition is the order of the day in IDP's camp across Northeast. Investors are leaving the country on daily basis because of insecurity. This is dangerous. For our economy. 
it is dangerous for our economic projections of 2021. No country can fund its budget effectively in the midst of insecurity like Nigeria. We wish to use this measure to let our president know that Nigerians are really tired of excuses from the service chiefs. Their continuous retention is not doing the country any good. What is so special about them that they cannot be sacked? Isn't it obvious that they have lost, they have lost ideas, tired and are no longer in control? We are convinced that they are out of ideas that can change the game in the security of the nation. Hence, the proper thing for the president to do is to sack them without further delay. We call on the president to take this first step and follow it up with restructuring the entire security architecture of the country for utmost results. Nigerians, especially the youths, are tired of the level of insecurity in the country. The large turnouts by youths on the NSAS campaign across the country is an indication that Nigerians are tired of excuses. We are therefore appealing to President Muhammadu Buhari to, as a matter of urgency, begin the restructuring of the country's security architecture starting from the sack of these tired service chiefs and replace them with younger and more committed officers. Nigerians are fed up with the current level of insecurity. It is on this note that we issue this statement to express our concerns for the nation and the need for Mr. President to act soon. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? The level of insecurity in the country is really, really amazing. And uh, it is sad and unfortunate. Well, be that as it is, a lot of people are beginning to uh, agitate or call for a new trend on how to, uh, a new trend on maybe coming up with a new campaign that will read Buhari must go, hashtag end Buhari's reign, as it were. The level of insecurity in the country is really, really uh, unfortunate. The Northern elders are now calling for Buhari's uh, attention, saying that his silence to the call and the, for the sack of the service chiefs is worrisome and is really, really giving them high concern, just like it is giving every reasonable Nigerian high concerns. Well, it is what it is. I stand to be corrected, and um, it is sad and unfortunate. Be that as it is, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, concerning this issue? Why has Buhari refused to sack the service chiefs? Well, let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story. Harapin says, if he sacks them, who will help him and the APC in 2023 elections? Why is President Buhari keeping quiet over burning national issues? Unable to defend his actions or face the media and give press interviews? Is this how he will carry on till 2023? This deliberate silence is odd. What's really going on? Well, that is what a lot of people are asking. Another person says the service chiefs may know the secrets you and I are not privileged to and may expose it if tampered with. Well, whatever secret it is, they should uh, make it open. These northern elders might just be pushing an agenda. They should go directly to the president and address him immediately. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.